I mean, I woke up like, <laughs> I was like, I gotta go. <laughs> Yeah, last time we, we had a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah. So, so yeah, um, welcome to those joining the recording. Today is July 26, 2021. We are in the App Ecosystem Working Group meeting right now. And last week, we had a great conversation with Christy and Kenny from Gnome and KDE about their experience with Guadec and KDE Academy. And we wanted their feedback on the event activity organizers metrics that we developed. So if you scroll down in, or I can share my screen. Oh, I see we have a few more joining us. Hi, everyone. Um, Maybe we should do a quick round of introductions before we dive in, since there are a few new faces today. So I can I can start. My name is Georg. I work at Biturgia. I'm the director of sales there. I also co-founded Chaos and helping facilitate this working group. And I pass it on to Sri. Hello, uh, my name is Sri Ramakrishna. I work for IT Renew as a um, eco principal ecosystems engineer. Basically, work with ecosystems, um, but I also do a lot of a lot of work in the GNOME project. And um, one of the and these are these are I don't know why I can't talk today, but. Um, but uh, yeah, that's it. I'm going to stop while I'm ahead. <laughs> and uh, I'll give it, hand it over to Perry. Oh, hi, everyone. Uh, I'm Perry. I'm from the Open Source Community Africa. I'm also doing a lot of stores around Genome. Recently, just took over on um, program managing the scalable onboarding. And um, Sri introduced me to this group and said it's um, a group I would really learn from. And I'm really excited to be here. I'm looking forward to connect with everyone here and learn from everyone. Nice to meet you, Perry. Okay, I'll go next. <laughs> I'm Nuritzi. I um, work at GitLab as the senior open source program manager. I am working from my sister's uh, place in LA. So I went to their business center. So there might be like random people in the background. <laughs> All right. Uh, I guess Nico, Nico, do you want to go next? Yeah, that's good. Yeah, Nico. Um, I'm from the Netherlands. Um, Nico Hicke and uh, um, in my daily job, I work in the open source program office at Aliander, which is a grid operator in the Netherlands. So we do power and the gas. And uh, well, I've been in the open source community for a long time. So uh, other things also with the Free Software Foundation Europe. And uh, I use GNOME and I use GitLab and all this stuff. So yeah, interesting. Good to see so many people here. Yeah. And I'll pass it on to Sean. Hey, I'm Sean. Uh, I work uh, I work at Red Hat in the Open Source Program Office, uh, and I have a have a long history with the GNOME project, uh, doing documentation and community and kind of on again, off again, on again uh, board work. So, and I guess uh, Allison is left. Yep, I guess that leaves me. Um, hi, I'm Allison. I am a consultant with KDE. Um, I'm new to the open source community. I've been working with KDE for uh, just over a year now. And um, I am uh, usually planning academy for them, helping with external conferences that KDE is being represented at. And just 
here to help in whatever way I can. Awesome. Thank you. Nice to nice to have you uh, today. So Pierre and Alison, Alison, you are here uh, probably by invitation from Sri. Yeah, from Sri, from me. Yeah, uh, from Neofitos, from me. So we we were uh, discussing about uh, getting some feedback on work that we had done and we wanted to get some feedback on on the metrics that we thought of might be interesting to event activity organizers and last time we met we had uh, we were working with christy and kenny through those um so yeah i would also love to hear what what you think about the metrics um Absolutely. Um, I did actually look at it pretty in depth after the last meeting. I wasn't able to make it, unfortunately. Um, but I did read through it. And I, I think it's, it's pretty um, thorough. So I'm just trying to pull it up again, because I have a few documents that I'm sorting through at the moment. In the chat, I put the meeting minutes for today. Oh, thank you. And in there, if we go to the, if we go down to page two, we do have a copy of the metrics where we can annotate and comment, and um, that's that's where we're working right now. Sure. Could you the... put like under July 26th, add like an, here I'll put like agenda and notes and can you just copy that direct link? I think that'll be easier for people to follow along with. Do you see where I am? A direct link to what? To the doc that Christy should be looking at. Yep. Or not Christy, sorry, Allison. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm filling it in. I hope it's the right one <laughs> without context, but that's what I got from it. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was, so, so Nuritsi, thank you for sharing that document. Um, I, we, last time we copied into the minutes. So if you go down to July 12, the event activity organizers metrics and so we were just working inside the minutes. We don't have a separate document. We oh. were capturing feedback. Oh, interesting. OK. <laughs> so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a direct link to that other notes doc. So we are working within this doc. Um, here is the section. Yep, and then a deep link, perfect. Thank you, that's a great idea. I like how organized you are, Nuritsi. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> mm. Okay, so I haven't read through the notes either. Um, so are we supposed to just go through the questions and just pull out any extra comments or what are we doing right now? So my, my thought is since Allison, since you said you had already gone in depth on it, if you have any feedback before we go into the feedback from last time, I would love to hear your feedback. Yeah, um, I think that the questions that are being posed are, are quite relevant. Um, maybe some are more measurable than others. I guess maybe a few need just a few more parameters to make them more easy to, to quantify. But other than that, I think like, like for example, number six, 
How engaging was the event? Um, what do we want to mean by engagement? Uh, could this be registrations versus live attendees? Could this be um, how many comments were in the chats? Or how many people were commenting on a regular basis or asking questions? Uh, engagement to, can be a, a lot of different things. I think that's that's great. Um, how engaging was the project? Looks like someone is creating a comment here. Thank you, Nuritsi. Sorry, oh. I'll just be right back. <laughs> no worries. So to, to catch you up for those who weren't here two weeks ago, we started at the top and just read through the questions, metrics, and data points. I can share my screen so we are all on the same page, literally. And as we were going through, we captured um, comments that we can talk about and improve on. One structural or one, one bigger observation that we had is a lot of these are questions about um, that, that require matching attendees with contributors and matching between who is at the event and who is in the community and needing some, some way of connecting those identities. Connecting, uh, because the re registration, the conference registration process does not require someone to use their, their identity they com contribute with. Um, and I think Kenny said they used to have a field, but they took it out of the registration process to ask, hey, what handle do you contribute with? Um, so that was one major observation. And so one, one thing that came to my mind from that is maybe we describe the data and what questions to ask from that data. Like reverse what we have right now. Once we collect this data, we can answer these questions. I don't know if that would be helpful. Um, the other thing that came out of the meeting, as far as I remember, is that some of these questions sounded repetitive and maybe we can combine them or reword them better. That was actually going to be my next comment. <laughs> Sorry to jump in. There yeah. are a couple that are pretty similar that I think you could combine or reword to be the same. Oh, and then maybe with your parameterization idea, we can say um, a question of something along the lines of attendees and contributors, and then have different parameters for what, what do we ask of attendees and contributors? Like how many contributors attended our events as in contributors that were active before? How many contributors became active after attending the event, how many or how long are contributors active after they attend an event versus those who don't attend an event? I, I think those are all very similar questions with slightly different parameters in how we look at the data. Would it make sense then to group these into buckets? a bit more 
like say these have to do with engagement, these have to do with retention or something like that, and then kind of see what that leaves us with. I'm sure there's overlap, that's the only problem. Yeah, Perry, I see you unmuted yourself. If you wanna jump in, go ahead. Yeah, I, I think um, I like the um, grouping them into engagement and retention. So it gives us a clearer view as to um, the metrics we're trying to come up with. So like just grouping them could make it more clear. If 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 it's the the issue that maybe some questions fall into different category, categories, uh, we could also label them uh, where they contribute to. And if there's no overlap, you can always group them and otherwise just leave it. Although I do realize that this overarching goal is kind of I think that was our attempt at it grouping them. So these all have to do with retaining and attracting. But maybe that means we should subdivide it further into just retaining and attract and then one other one for attracting. Or we just say yes, they are closely related on purpose. We just have different questions and so we needed a way to describe different ways of looking at the data. And yes, mission accomplished. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, is part of that feedback too that the way that this is structured is overwhelming for event organizers to look at? So it's almost like too much and we don't know where to start. Because I can imagine somebody looking at our list and being like, holy crap, I, what? <laughs> like, don't even know where to start. <laughs> so. Allison, do you have any initial feedback or Perry, since you're somewhat new to this? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it definitely took a while to go through. It was a bit overwhelming, but there were points that I, when initially reading through it, I just kind of thought, okay, these would be better as like a single question or like the one number six, like how do we break this up? How do we, how do we actually measure? I think with the questions you want to be as specific as possible for one and where you can group questions together would probably be better because let's say okay for number six like maybe that becomes a group of questions with uh, as um as you said earlier like how many contributor returning contributors attended how many new contributors attended how did how many you know, non-contributors attended. So kind of have to break it down to make it, make it a bit more specific. That's not too yeah. redundant. What I hear in that is maybe that this specific one should be a top level goal of like how engaging was the event and that that might be different from the rest of the questions we have here. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I think yes. we could do that. Should we just move it out? We're allowed yep. to do this work. Okay, let's do it. Yep. Yay. Okay. Do you want to do it? Um, here, let's copy it, strike it out here, and create a new goal. Um, goal. I, I, I moved down, How so I'm, I'm, oh, yeah. you see my screen. <laughs> you see my screen. Um, so one goal is to have engaging events. Oh, okay, got it, okay. And then the question is how engaging was an event? And then. And then mm -hmm. Allison, you had specific ideas around this, like. Yep. So in terms of engagement, uh, first we should define what, what engagement is. Like, um, you know, are we, are we counting comments? Are we counting questions? Are we counting 
how many people are asking questions rather than quantifying the questions themselves. Um, well, what were the other ones I said? Um, uh, how many comments there were sort of per day? Are we seeing a drop off or an increase? Things like that. And also I imagine that it would be a bit different. Well, is there a difference between virtual and in-person around engagement? Like how might we? Yeah, I was thinking if, if the number of stickers that were taken from a table, but you won't get it in a virtual environment. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Like interacting with booths. Mm -hmm. Yep, so things like booth interaction are much less at online events, specifically because People are doing other things in the background. Um, I'm not sure about like giveaway downloads, to be honest with you. But I do know engagement overall is significantly decreased between in person and online. Hybrid is a toss up because you get a lot of engagement from the in person parts, and it depends on the virtual. Yeah. Do we want to add things? At least on the online conferences, we have um, views on YouTube or whatever streaming sites. Yeah, that could be a metric here in, under yeah. social media. Yeah. And it's sort of interesting, right? So just looking at Last week's Quadic, right? We had track one had 1.4 thousand views, right? Um, and then on day two, it, it dropped precipitously, which is what I usually see in online conferences. That's just First because day. I was speaking on day two, so it all just <laughs> <off>. <laughs> But, but yeah, it, it's like I said, it, this always happens. Day one is a day two, just a, just a, a side. I don't know. Okay, so I, I changed the top um, thing from how engaging was the event since now we're breaking it down into smaller, into more nuanced categories. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure how to phrase this first one, how engaged was the audience? but we have number of messages on conference specific messaging platform, which to me has to do again with like, if there's a speaker, how many questions or like comments are happening? What's the right question for that though? I don't know how to word that. That I lost with you. I, I always feel like one indicator, at least in person is the number of questions is enough that they had like it goes into a hallway conversation, right? It converts to a hallway conversation. That's, that generally means a high uh, engagement. How many people did we have to kick out of the room because they were still talking from the previous talk? Exactly. I was right? it. Did everybody fit in? Yeah. <laughs> That's a great metric. You're, you're taking fast down. <laughs> we should throw off all metrics because yeah, that's my reference yeah <laughs> the problem with FOSDEM is that somebody will be in that room to see a talk that's like two talks away because <laughs> they can't get in right yeah. yeah so maybe that's the other one metric like how many overflow or how many something like that. It's like how many people are standing in the room? Like there's so much interest in this. 
you know, um, how many extra people are there beyond seating capacity? capacity. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's great. There's a question number five that I'm not sure I understand. Giveaway downloads, what was that? For virtual booths. Oh, that was for virtual booths. Yeah, we can move that up as a metric. Are there any other um, ways of defining engagement, Allison, that you can think of, or Barry, or anyone else? Can, sorry, I wanted to go back to the food interactions. Maybe while she's sticking the answer, but um, number of questions at a booth would be if one could do that. Because you would have to have like some kind of ticker, right? And then every time you get one, you hit the ticker. I think some way to drive down the how many people sat in each talk or session. Um, maybe it's an average of who attended each session. Um, so if you have 50 talks, two of them, you know, have 100 plus. But then, um, you know, the, the remaining 48 have between 10 and 20. You can, you can average them out maybe. I, I don't exactly understand what you mean, Edison. Might be me. <laughs> so instead of making a sort of list of numbers per session, would it be better to average out every session? So you, you count up all 50 sessions that you have of who, who has attended and then make an average of those and use that as your staple metric. Uh, yeah. Because then you can also compare average attendance versus total registration. Could be a note to the metric, I think. And, yeah. and, and yeah, like with all of these, I think it, it might depend on what you can realize in, in terms of collecting metrics. So I said that again, Nico. Well, and, and, and maybe I, I, I have a different point of view, I don't know. But the way I look at these metrics is that you might not be able to collect all of them or some you, you only collect for some rooms, I don't know. So uh, yes, depending on the, on the situation, so, some metrics might be recorded, some that don't. Yeah, we talked about that a little bit too, Nico, because you were saying that a lot of this also depends on the tool stack that people are using and like the capabilities and all of that. So right now I think we're trying to gather everything that comes to our brains <laughs> and then, you know, uh, we want to make some also practical recommendations of like, if you use this tool, then these are some that are easier to find and you do it this way. So that would be like a second iteration of this proposal. Uh, and, and, and it sends, I think the remark by Alison falls in that category of how you can uh, measure it. Yeah. Okay. You, you could even break it down further of an average of who uh, who attended or the average people in attendance of like workshops and, and sprints versus talks um, could also be another interesting one. Also, I should apologize. I have the document open. I'm just really terrible with typing and talking at the same time. We're typing and listening at the same time. So I figured if there's all of you on the doc, I'll at least be attentive and listen. Yeah, that makes sense. No worries. 
fortunately, um, Georg is exceptionally good at note taking. So, I, I think Nuritzi is still better. Nuritzi is also <laughs> exceptionally good at note taking. So, team effort. <laughs> we're well covered. Thank you. Would we would we count people's or attendees interactions on social media as some form of a metrics to measure engagement for the event? Definitely. Right now we have question number two. We oh, just so have yeah. views on YouTube, but maybe um, like have we thought about all the other types of messaging systems like Twitter and LinkedIn specifically? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's the second metric we have for question two, the number of messages on social media with hashtag. Well, and there's also like retweets and uh, I guess GitLab does it by number of impressions. And I know that there is a tool that's proprietary, but I wonder if there's a, um, an open source version. It's called Keyhole. And essentially what you do is you uh, connect your account to that and it gives you like all these metrics around impressions and like the reach of your social media essentially. I don't know if there's something like that that exists, but maybe if we write it down, someone will know of a tool or might build it. <laughs> yes, that's exactly right. Thanks, Nico. I'll add that to the notes. Thank you. Mm -hmm. There, <clears throat> I copied it in. Oh yeah, perfect. Okay. Thank you. Nico, you know your stuff. <laughs> no, I'm quick with searching. That's it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's a useful skill too. So. <laughs> I have trouble copying that last one. There. Hmm. With that alternative one, I'm I'm struggling to find the actual Oh, here we go. I see. Okay. I think there's only one uh, that is open source. That's Analysia. Somewhere down, I think, or you can filter with it. And uh, in the top, you can filter. Uh, on the right side, there's a license. You can select open source. And then there's a oh. single uh, head. Oh, yeah, cool. This is Instagram and TikTok. Cool. That's where all the cool kids are, right? Yeah. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't, I'm not on those platforms. So obviously, it's not all exactly. the cool kids. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think they want the uh, people like me, my age. Hanging out in there. That's where all the cool people, cool kids are. <laughs> I think if I were to join, my 13 year old son would find something new to use. <laughs> With, it's only a matter of time before the, the rest of the generations show up. <laughs> 
I, I think this is quite quite amazing. We we start reviewing uh, to get feedback on the existing metrics, and one metric here alone by itself kind of triggered a whole new goal and category of metrics and questions. That's that's awesome. Yeah, thank you, Allison. <laughs> Were there any others like that uh, that you thought we should expand upon? Or? Yeah, let me double check. And same with you, Perry, if you would notice any others that you think we should expand upon or group differently. Yeah, I'm going to. Uh, one that could be combined is seven and eight. It's essentially the same question. And nine and 10 are essentially the same as well. Well, maybe not. Attendance is not always tied to contributing. I mean, I think that it's fair to combine seven and eight. I don't, I'm looking through the metrics and the data and I don't think that they're too different. I think Two nine. Two and 10. Two and 10 is, um, yeah. I would say because if they're staying longer in a project at that point, they would be considered a contributor maybe. Uh, are we going to go through each of these comments later and act on them or could we like if we just agree right now just do it we can do it because, right now. Yeah. yeah let's do it now because then we like have to sit through the comments and be like what did we mean by this do we really agree and then it's like takes another 20 minutes you're so right <laughs> all right i'm just trying to save us pain later <laughs> So we, here from 10, we just move the metric and data up. Yes, perfect. One. And we add that to... Yay. Mm -hmm. And that's gone. Ooh, and then seven and eight. And I think nine is along the same lines. Seven is how many return, nine is how many are new, and eight is asking returning and new. <laughs> so I feel like we can just get rid of nine and seven. Yeah. Or we can move the... Yeah, move the metrics. I love it. I love it. Now we have only six questions here. That's much more manageable. A, a, a quick question, Alison and um, Perry. If we were to present this any different, what do you have any ideas for how to make this more accessible? maybe slides like each question is a slide 
So that way you're not faced with huge amounts of text. Yes, love that. I'm adding or even here. like um, you, you can turn those slides into a PDF even. Um, this week, I wouldn't mind here. trying to put that Sorry. together as a sort of better way to. Let's put this here. Show it. See what I'm doing? So I didn't get that last part. Oh, uh, was... I wouldn't mind putting some slides together as like a test run before the next meeting. That'd yeah. be great. Cool. Listen, I think um, I can jump on that with you, if you don't mind. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, Kevin, yeah, yeah. Did you want to add something? What me? Yeah. Oh yeah, I said I said I was going to join Alison to put the slides together for the next. Oh, meeting. awesome! Thank you. Yeah, that would be fantastic. I appreciate the initiative here. And it doesn't have to encompass all the metrics, right? If you just have a prototype of what it could look like, then just to help us know what, what would be easily consumable for you. Yes, and um, what I wanted to say really quickly is that I think that we're like the way that I see this, Georg, is that we're putting all of these takeaways from the feedback and then and some of these will be actionable instead of having like new points for each one. Okay. Okay, cool. Sounds good. Well, we are at the end of our meeting for today. I really appreciate this very engaged working session, all of your contributions. And I look forward to continuing in, well, the, the, let's talk quickly about in two weeks, August 9th. Sean, I know you are going to be out on vacation. Me too. You're Ritzy too. Yeah, okay. So it's three of us because Neo as well. So it's then a popular I, vacation time. Yeah. Shall we meet in four weeks or in September? We can take a one month vacation. Hiatus, <laughs> one month hiatus. It's okay with me. I'm, I'm, I'm on vacation right now, kind of sort of. Oh, thank you for spending your vacation with us. Working vacation. Oh. <laughs> take a real vacation tree, get out. <laughs> yeah. I'll kick your computer behind. I, I just spent all day in New York City yesterday. Very good. Cool. Um, my September is riddled with travel, <laughs> so I will try to come to whatever works for everyone else. Um, if for weeks that Monday, the twenty third of August, works for everyone, I'm online that day. Um, me too. Okay, then let's plan on the 23rd. Works okay. for me. Thank you so much. Have okay. a good day. All right. See you.